Question 22. Now, um, just before we go into this, um, I just want to say, I think it's, this is a very difficult question. I think it's probably the hardest question I've ever seen at, at GCSE. The problem is proving it's a multiple of 24. I think to prove it's a multiple of 12 isn't too bad, and I think that would give you sort of three or four marks out of six. But I think the last two marks is, is very difficult. Anyway, here goes. So, um, hopefully the bit in blue is fairly straightforward. Uh, w the, the nth term here is 6n plus 1. So, for example, this is the fifth term. That fifth term comes from being 6, 5 to 30, plus 1 is 31. So establishing that the nth term um, expression is 6n plus 1 is one term. And let's just let any other term be 6m plus 1. Now, we've got to look at the difference between the squares of these two terms. So this bit in purple just does that. So we square each of these and we take one away from the other. So here's 6n plus 1 all squared and here's 6n plus 1 all squared. Take one away from the other and we get the difference between the two squares. So I've multiplied out and then I've simplified to get me down to this line here. And then to prove that it's a multiple of 12, I've just taken the 12 out to get to here. So as I said, I think so far so good. I think that's not too bad. The next bit is very difficult. Now, in order to prove that it's a multiple of 24, we need to prove that this bit in the square brackets is always even. Because if this is always even, um, then, then 12 times an even number is always going to be a multiple of 24. Okay, 12 times 2 or 12 times 4, 12 times 6, all of those would be multiples of 24. So the, the last two marks comes from trying to prove that this bit here is always even. Now, I've taken this bit here over here in pink and I've rearranged it to get into this format because I think this is perhaps a slightly easier one to prove which is almost even, always even. So what I've done, I've taken my n and my m and gone through all the various scenarios. So what could they be? They could be odd, 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 even, 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 or even, odd. They're the only four possibilities. And then I've just basically considered the implications of n being odd and m being odd, uh, just working through this. So if we've got n, uh, n and m both being odd, when we take one away from the other, it's always even. When we add to the gather, it's always even. Three lots of an even is always going to be odd. And three lots of this plus one is always going to be even. And an odd times an even is an even. So basically, what you can see here I've done, I've, I've just worked my way through substituting into this what happens if you've got an odd odd, an odd even, an even even, an even odd. And always I end up with an even. So what I'm then saying is, right, so basically I've shown, I've proven that it's 12 times an even number and, being, and 12 times an even is almost, is, is always a multiple of 24, hence we've proved what we had to show. So in short, I think getting down as far as this bit in purple, so it's 12 times something, is reasonably straightforward, given it's the hardest question on the paper. This bit in pink, I think, is extremely difficult, this bit in pink and black.